All right, guys, welcome to Wayne's World Garage. Today, we're cutting the fourth log for the rest of the hay wagon deck boards for Charlie. So this is just a quick video. We didn't finish the uh, second pulley with a 3 8 inch cable yet, but I made some temporary bushings. I'm not going to show you that and put them in. But we're going to cut this poplar up, and then I'm going to drop these guys off at Charlie's house. And he's a great character. You'll enjoy that. Get to check out his, uh, his Mack truck and uh, some of his other cool stuff at his farm. So I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day. And sadly, the start of this is just my helmet cam. I had the other camera running, but apparently I forgot to turn it on. My bad. So you just get to watch the helmet cam for the first part of this. Sorry, guys. I had a problem last week, but we had that much hanging over. Well, that's what I was kind of wondering. It should be more centered. Thank you. Right, take it off. Yeah. So take it off. And then, push oh, can we push the log forward, come in and take off? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We're gonna push it forward, then roll the log off. Declare. Good. That was cool. So what we're learning here, and thanks for everybody for coaching us, especially freaking Jeep, is once you get one side of the log flat, put that on the bottom. Let gravity help us out, and that'll stabilize things a lot more. So that's what we're doing. It takes a little bit more work because you have to rotate it 270 degrees, and we don't have automatic rollers, automatic dogs. Well, we got automatic us, but that doesn't really count. But it actually will end up with a much better product. and. The results have been fantastic since we've been doing this for the last month and a half.
So what we just did, and I didn't want to bore you with the details, we've got a flat side on the bottom of the knee and a flat side on the back of the knee. So we know it's perpendicular, 90 degrees and all that stuff. And we'll be cutting perfectly straight boards. How cool is that? All right, so following with the same theme, I've got a flat side in the bottom, the back and the top, and now we're finishing off the cant. So we'll have four sides, hopefully 90 degrees to each other, or pretty darn close, and they are. And then we'll have the cant, and then we can start making boards pretty quick. Here is this cant is about 13 inches wide, and I could turn it again, I suppose, but who cares? So I'm gonna cut it in half, and then we'll have nice six inch deck boards for this hay wagon. So this isn't hard, but this is gonna be two pretty big cans, and they're kinda heavy. So if I go too fast, the cant is going to fall off onto the deck, unloading deck, and then Pete will be really unhappy with me. So I go really kind of slow. You wait for the cant to drop and spread out a little bit, but you got to leave from holding wood there. My left too much is what the guys were thinking, but this is kind of pulling out. So that's what you do, and this way you can drag it back because it's still attached. Fortunately, it's 20 foot long. I get plenty of leverage, and I can just pull it right off, and we're good to go. All right, so here we are. We're 12 minutes into cutting this log, and now we're cutting deck boards for the hay wagon, 18 plus foot long. So just keep that in mind, how much work's going to get this far, and how quickly we can whip through these cants, cants being the big block of wood, to make boards. The saw is running very well. We haven't sharpened it, but it's pretty cool. So these little pins here I'm adjusting are for fine adjustment. They're like eighth of an inch increments. So I wanted the board a little bit heavier. So that's what we did is adjust this guy a little bit until we learn better how to use what they call a set works, which is a lever pulling the log back and forth.
Well, there we go. We got some last log for Charlie Smith cut. Load them up, we'll get them out. We'll get this uh, pulley back off and figure it out. We ended up um, at the sawmill today. We cut uh, the last fourth. He brought us four logs, or I brought four logs from him. And we made poplar boards for his hay wagons out of it. 84 years old and the guy still needs boards for his hay wagons. So good deal on that. So it's nice looking wood. Very, very happy. We're cutting nice looking boards. These guys look pretty straight. Everything looks good. So we're kind of optimistic what we got going here. We're getting some things straightened out and the guys are doing a great job. You know, we're taking our time. We're starting to think here how things are going. So and he's got some nice boards. Some of these boards are 19, 20 foot long. Takes a little bit of effort to load them up onto the, onto the, uh, onto the deck for us to cut them, but it works all right. So we've got four logs here, and he's got quite a few boards when you think about it. Enough to keep Mr. Ed happy for his hay wagons and stuff like that. So what we'll do is we will get Old Blue, see if Old Blue starts. It's cold out. It's going to be 12 or 14 degrees tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Friday night. Friday night. And that's just unheard of here. It's Maryland. We are, we're babies. We're not used to the cold. So let's see if Old Blue starts and we get out of here. This truck's a 1988 F-250. It's loud. <laughs> it's hard to hear anything when it's running, but we'll see what happens today. Let's see here. Glow plugs. Glow plugs on. Glow plugs off. Contact. Yeah. I hope you can hear something. It'll be an experiment here for sure. I'll keep the music off because apparently YouTube doesn't like music. They do like music. They have their own music. You should listen to it. It's the sappiest stuff I've heard in my life. My God. No wonder they're making money if that's the music they want us to use. It is pathetic. I didn't say that, did I? I did. I, did. I guess I could pay for music, but that's all right. It's not going to happen. Charlie built this house himself in the 50s. I think he said he moved into this property in 1954. Used to be a bricklayer. Brand Charlie Smith Excavating. He's still got some cool old stuff. Maybe we'll see some of it today. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. He's got a Mac Bravo One. It's a tractor, you know, for tractor trailer type thing. It is, it is really cool. All right, clear the right, clear the left. And this road, these roads are apparently wide enough for the truck and trailer. So let me tell you what. People say, don't you love driving a trailer? Um, I enjoy driving a trailer. It's actually a lot of fun. But the truck's a 34 year old truck. It's work to drive a truck. And when there's people like this on bikes and they do have the prerogative, you know, they, well, they don't pay taxes on the road. But you gotta watch out for these guys. He's a singleton. But he's got his light on, he's got his helmet on. Good for him. Good for her. These old cedar trees here that we're passing by, these are cool. This is all part of um, a plantation, you know, hundreds of years ago. That house on the right, which we're coming up to, you can't see it. It's a place called Middle Plantation. Some king or queen gave it to somebody in the 1700s. Well, how come President Biden or President Trump doesn't even give me any property? Jeez, I guess I'm not politically connected. But they gave him some land. And now these guys still own a little bit of it. They have thousands of acres and it was a big plantation because we grew tobacco back then. And in the 90s, late 90s, I think, or, or late, early, late 80s, early 90s, they did the buyouts and no more tobacco. 
not a bad thing because we have no labor for it anyway. Clear, clear, here it goes. Hope we get a look at some of this stuff, probably not. Sorry buddy, not quite yet. Finding his driveway is hard. Here we are, sorry pal. Here we go. Alright. Charlie Mann. Charlie Smith. I get it right. What has he got here? He's got this JCB. He's got trackers. Any man would love this place. It's cool. He's got cool stuff here. And that JCB thing will unload these in no time. So life will be good. Just do this. Let's see, we got loaders, we got bobcat, we got everything here. Oh my god. This is worth a drive around just to check out his B1. Lock me there. What? Was wonderful. Do it again. Well, that's perfect. What? You guys are hilarious. So, how many people you know have a Mac B1 truck in their backyard? This is just a cool truck, and it looks like it's in good shape too. That's awesome. Farm truck. Alright, let's get these things off here. The way he operates, just talk about a smooth operator, you will be impressed. Watch him wreck my machine today, but.
Well, that wraps up another episode of Wayne's World Garage. Thanks so much for watching. Charlie's a great guy. Now he's got a whole bunch more deck boards for his hay wagons. His turkeys are happy. He's happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Got more projects at the sawmill. I'm going to do a video on putting the bearings in those pulleys. And the next one is that the knees, our knees, and I'll show you a quick picture of these things, are flopping back and forth. And Phil and I looked at them the other day, and I think we kind of figured out the problem. Check out the last pick. Have a great day. Thank you, guys.